and As I experienced this scripture painting and exercise, there were so many things I could pick apart and really spend time reflecting on. However, I noticed my heart being drawn to the words quiet and open. In the exercise, we are asked to let our minds be quiet and our hearts open. I was taken aback when I heard these words so close together because as a person who's constantly surrounded by chaos living on a college campus, I do not associate quiet with open. When I need quiet, I close my door, find time, a find time alone, shut out the world around me. But the reflection reminded me that closed does not mean quiet, especially as I am actively awaiting the coming of Jesus. Additionally, the scripture is saying we may not know the hour when Jesus will arrive or appear to us, so we must be awake and ready. I think it is important to notice the word choice of awake. Mark could have just as easily said we must wait for Jesus. But to me, waiting implies a sort of passiveness versus to be awake is to be active and alert. I do not need to be closed to be quiet. I need to be open and awake. I need to be doing God's work. And through that, I will be able to have a quiet heart that is prepared for Jesus's arrival. Too often we hear the sentiment of sending thoughts and prayers. And while the power of thoughts and prayers is nothing to be diminished, they take a passive role, a waiting role. I see this scripture as a call to action, similar to the Jesuit value of contemplatives in action. I can connect myself to Jesus through acting as Jesus would, instead of just waiting for Jesus. Doing this, my mind and heart will be better equipped and more open when Jesus does arrive, and I will be ready to let him in without hesitation. <laughs>